The way we make things is changing, radically. A new set of ideas and trends have emerged and combined to create a new industrial revolution, one led by people and human innovation. They're using ideas like collaborative design teams and leaner, more customizable manufacturing. Once upon a time, a factory made one thing. Now, a factory can make almost as many things as there are people to imagine them. From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Likely to soon become a familiar brand in the city of Rustenburg, the northwest-based metropole has, some three years after first announcing its integrated public transport strategy, officially launched the name and logo of its developing 7 billion rand integrated rapid transport system, now dubbed Yarona. Natalie Grieve travelled to the Platinum Belt to find out more. The first phase of the Rustenburg Rapid Transport, or RRT, project will officially launch in 2016 under the brand name Yorona, a Setswana word meaning it is ours. The network would be anchored by two trunk corridors from which various feeder routes would emanate, ultimately linking the bulk of the city's industrial, commercial and residential hubs. The total system will, once completed in 2022, service 80% of the 3,500 square kilometer municipality, offering public transport services to some 200,000 commuters a day. Phase 1 would see the 412 million rand completion of dedicated BRT lanes and stations along Corridor A, or the R104, which would be extended to include additional taxi laybys and pedestrian paths. Rustenburg Executive Mayor Mpoh Kuno told Engineering News Online that the launch of Yorona was a step towards Rustenburg becoming a world-class city. Integrated transport system, which we are now calling Yorona, is extremely important in the overall context of the vision of Rustenburg, where we would like to go as Rustenburg. Rustenburg would like to become a world-class city, and you can't become a world-class city if you don't have an integrated transport system. It is our flexible project, uh, but it's also a project which is not important in the context of transport. It is a project which is important in the context of uh, economic development, in, in the context of diversification of the local economy, in terms of uh, creating jobs, in terms of empowerment of local SMMEs, in terms of uh, rejuvenation of, of the CBD. Um, so, so certainly it is a project that will uh, change the face of, uh, of, of Rustin Mill. The orange and green Yorona logo was designed to represent the relationship between the commuter and movement and had garnered support from the general public as well as from various bus and taxi associations in the city with whom negotiations to formalise contractual arrangements to operate the Yorona bus services were ongoing. Procurement of the buses for the BRT portion of the network would be managed by the project's bus operating company, which was formed on behalf of the affected taxi and bus industry. The Rustenburg municipality and affected taxi and bus operators represented by the Taxi Negotiating Forum, or the TNF, had regularly gathered around the negotiating table since 2011 to discuss the absorption of the city's taxi and bus operators into the network. TNF chairperson Herman Sebejo told a post-launch media briefing that the industry was initially unsure how it should respond to the announcement of an integrated transport system in Rustenburg, but was ultimately supportive of the project following engagements with their counterparts in Johannesburg and Cape Town, who had been incorporated into similar transport networks. This was a new thing completely to us. Um, the fear was there, I must be honest. Um, but in all this, we then visited our uh, partners in Johannesburg and Cape Town, where you've got your My City in Cape Town and Riavaya in Johannesburg. We engaged with them. We asked questions. And uh, by the time we came back and started engaging with the municipality, at least, we had an idea of what is there for us. Therefore, our members are now at ease up to so far because they partly now understand this thing to say, if we want to see our city being developed, we must be part and parcel of that uh, development. 
Meanwhile, Kunal told Engineering News Online that current talks between the parties were centred around the negotiation of an operating licence, which would see taxi associations managing and operating the Yorona network for a 12-year period. He further emphasised the importance of including the taxi industry in the development and management of Yorona. It is extremely important to get the, uh, that buy-in, especially those that are directly affected, uh, that will be directly affected by the implementation of the system. We are currently in the process of negotiation with, the, with all existing public transport operators, including the taxi industry. Uh, they have uh, organized themselves in what is called a taxi negotiating forum. Now, the idea is that when the system come, it comes into operation, uh, they will form an entity that, that, that would uh, enter into an agreement with government. Uh, the initial arrangement is, is that it to be for a period of 12 years. So they will actually run the system, uh, obviously guided by the agreement that will be in place between that entity and the Raspberry Communist Party. So uh, you, you therefore can't deliver on the system without getting their, their active involvement. We've been uh, quite pleased so far that we have not had the, some of the difficulties that uh, uh, you know, Jobeck or, or, or Cape Town would have experienced initially. We have uh, learned valuable lessons from them. So they have been fully supportive from start uh, and, and throughout implementation. And we expect that the negotiation process itself will be quite smooth. Uh, they remain enthusiastic, they remain eager to have the system in operation. First phase thereof in 2016 and the final phase uh, in terms of the initial planning in 2022. Pipe manufacturer Southern Pipeline contractors recently moved into the manufacturing of high-density polyethylene or HDPE pipes, having invested 70 million rand into a new factory in the East Rand. Leandi Culver tells us more. At this new factory, SPC will be able to produce about 15 kilometers a day of HDPE piping for sewage, stormwater, drainage and cable protection applications. SPC GM Louis Xavier Havard discusses the reasons behind establishing this new factory and tells us more about what will be done there. Yes, because because of the of the let's say a European experience, so I cannot tell you that uh, South African doesn't get uh, experience, but this product uh, has been approved long time ago in Europe, so that's why we decided to go through. And uh, it's, it's a normal, normal uh, future and a normal way to evaluate from the concrete to the, to the plastic. So we started to install the machine eight months ago and uh, we did the startup of the machine. So we pressed the button, it was on the 28th of August this year. We are going to manufacture uh, cable protection from the seven, uh, 75 millimeters to the 160. Uh, for telecom and electrical protection and then for the sewage and the, the, the storm water from uh, 200 millimeters to 450. SPC also pointed out that there were various advantages associated with using HDPE pipes as opposed to concrete piping, including aspects such as being more environmentally friendly. Havard elaborates on some of the other advantages. It's a light product so it's it's easy to be installed, so you can install six meters in the same time. It's very light compared to a, a concrete uh, uh, pipe. If you compare a 300 millimeters diameter, uh, a two, two and a half meters of concrete is 300 kilos. So for the plastic, it's only 60 kilos for six meters. So that is one of the advantage. And, and the, the, the resistance is the same and it's labor intensive as well because for the concrete you must have AV equipment but for the plastic you, you just need one or two people. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.